Welcome everybody to Asmodea City. I am Lord Gearth. I will be your host today for this adventure once again. And uh, have you ever looked at the 3D games that are happening now in D&D Online, especially with the Foundry Virtual Tabletop, which we were talking about today? Have you ever seen those? Kind of like what you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, what you're seeing is something that I will be showing you how to create. And the cool part is that your players don't need any special software to make any of this happen. It still plays out in the browser, just like it normally does. But what we're talking about today, and this is part one of a series that I'm doing, uh, of the Ripper Rippers uh, 3D Canvas module. And if you don't know who the Ripper is, uh, you probably are not a DM. <laughs> so uh, if you're a player, feel free to stick around and watch us do this, but most uh, DMs know who the Ripper is. He's amazing. He's a content creator, module creator. He's just in incredible. So today we're going to talk about two things. Why would you want to do this, number one? And number two, how do you install it? And that's all we're going to talk about today. I'm not going to go into content in this video, but I will be going into content in the rest of the series that we'll be doing. So let's talk about the 3D Canvas module by the Ripper right after this. Hey everybody, I wanted to uh, introduce you to something new. So I'm going to just type it in here. Shop. Oh, you can see I've been there before. And here we are. Asmodea now has its own shop. It is new, at least at the moment of this recording. So you'll notice uh, we've got a few things in here and we're starting to grow as we can, as much as we can. Uh, I am planning an awful lot of dice options. And I have, I, I know you're only seeing really five options here, but if you kind of take a deeper dive, you'll see that uh, we have lots of different options in some of these uh, selections that you can see. And they, some of these dice are just so cool. So for those that are, uh, and I, I have this, liquid infused uh, dice as well. These are so cool because when you shake them that, that liquid works inside to kind of sparkle and it is balanced. So it doesn't uh, it, it doesn't cause the dice to uh, kind of flip or roll in an odd way. So uh, we have all sorts of different types of dice. They even come with these neat tin canisters for some of them. And uh, I also am putting in more of the books. Uh, certainly more of the D&D books are coming in here. Uh, and we each actually have gift cards. So if you're looking for a gift for your gamer, uh, feel free. You can purchase one of the gift cards. We'll even send them a, uh, if you click on here, send them a personalized message to go along with your gift card. So take a look at uh, the new Asmodea, Asmodea, boy, I can't even speak, Asmodea shop and uh, watch it grow because it will be growing by leaps and bounds here in uh, the coming weeks and days. So enjoy everyone. Hope to see you there. Hope you can support us. It'd be awesome. Thanks so much. Now, welcome back, everybody. Uh, again, I'm Lord Gearth with Asmodea City, and welcome. Really appreciate you guys being here. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button for me. That really helps my channel out immensely. And uh, also, don't forget to hit that bell button to get notified of new videos. I'm going to be releasing the videos in this series, and I've already got four in the can. So uh, I'm going to release these kind of quickly. I'm not going to make you wait a week for each one of them, because I know, especially after this one, you're going to want to jump right in and go, oh gosh, how do, how do I get this work? How do I make this work? So I'm going to make that happen for you. So uh, you know, make sure that you hit that bell button there to get notified of new videos. And I'm also going to remind you to please look at our, or join, if you would, our Discord server, the URL you are looking at right now, is a browser URL. And I know I say that in every video, but I still get people saying, I tried this and Discord's not working. Okay, this is a browser URL. It is not a Discord URL. So just jump onto that, uh, under your browser, enter that URL. It'll take you to a page that will allow you to add our server to your Discord so that you can get in there, talk to us, ask us questions, learn more about stuff, teach other people about stuff, which is even better. I think that's amazing. So please, if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into this. So what you're looking at right now 
uh, in the background kind of looping around is uh, the Ripper's website. This is where you get modules from him. Now, let me make this disclaimer. This is not a free module. It is a paid module. So understand that you're not going to be able to get this for free. You do need to become a patron of the Ripper to do this. It's not expensive. Uh, I'm not going to give you the price because it might change <laughs> after you know I record this, which has happened to me now a couple of different times. So, uh, But it's, it's not expensive, I can tell you that. And uh, he's got so many modules. Let me just kind of scroll down here a little bit. Uh, on my screen, where's my, oh, there's my mouse. I got three screens here. So uh, you can see there's a bunch of premium modules that are here. Here's the 3D canvas one that's right here. And 3D portraits is also one that I use uh, in, in with this. And we're going to be talking about that in the future videos as well. Uh, we'll also be talking about a couple of his free ones like this 3D canvas compendium and the 3D canvas token collection. We'll be using that. And uh, I think there's one more, isn't there? Uh, no, or maybe there. Oh, no, you know what? I think I, I included that in mine. In the other one. Okay. So anyway, you're looking at a kind of a rotating video of some of the things that you can do in 3D Canvas. Now, I, I mean, obviously he's showing you some of the extremes here, but understand that combined with other modules, this makes for one heck of a powerful experience. And for those of you that have not played in 3D, it's just a totally different world. It's it's the the future of what D&D &D and other RPG gaming is going to be like. I can tell you that if you haven't been following uh, the uh, Wizards of the Coast announcements about their upcoming, uh, and, and it may already be out by the time you see this video, but uh, at the, as of this recording, it is not out yet, is the one D&D, &D, which is going to kind of replace all the current versions of D&D. &D. So there's going to be some rule changes and some other things, and they're still hashing that out. But one of the other things that they have talked about is their new play system. And it looks very much like what you're looking at right now. Honestly, I think Rippers is actually better than what I've seen with uh, the 1D&D &D system. Well, not 1D&D, &D, but the, the Wizards of the Coast system. Now, they may still, you know, create it and release it and have it available for people. But either which way, if you are playing and you have the 3D canvas, you can use it and continue to use it. So not not a problem. Or you, should, you should be able to. I'm sure I have no doubt that Foundry will continue support for this. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm probably not. So uh, why would you use it? Take a look. I mean, I, I know this video is kind of looping over and over and over again, but but it, what you saw in my intro was something that I created, and we are going to create that through this ser series of videos. So you're going to be creating what you saw, and I'm going to show you step by step how to make that all happen. And it's just so cool. It's so, so amazing how we do it. So now that we know what it is and why you might want to do it, let's talk about how to install it. Now, this is a little different than what most of you DMs have been used to. This is not a module that A is available right from the module's uh, icon window, or I'm sorry, uh, listings uh, uh, window inside of Foundry, and it's not B, a manifest URL that you would pop in and then have it download. And, and the reason for that, and, and I should say uh, with a little caveat, that by the time you see this, it may actually already be in in the listing of available modules in Foundry. Uh, they may create it so that it, it does that uh, when they update it, it, when they update it and so on. But I can tell you that as of this recording, you have to download the zip file. And I'm going to show you, it's really easy. It's not hard to do at all. But you have to download the zip file unzip it, and then move a folder. And it, that's it. it. Well, then then turn it on once you get it into your server. Now, I will, of course, give you this warning. Please, please, please back up your system. Back up your server. And I made a whole video on that. There'll be a little card that'll pop up there at the top of this video that you can go watch that tells you how to properly back up your Foundry server. And Foundry is actually talking about introducing a way to do that backup from within Foundry itself. But that's a little ways off, at least as of this recording. It may be out now if you're listening to this much later. But either which way, uh, right now it is not. So please, please back up your server before you do anything. You don't want to lose all the hard work and uh, all of the setups and settings and items and scenes and 
all that kind of stuff that you've done, all the configs, you don't want to lose that by making a silly little mistake, right? So just back it up. Okay, so we're going to talk about the installation now, but I'm going to talk about this in Windows. And uh, I, as most of you may, well, many of you may know, I run most of my servers on AWS. So I, I'm actually using it in Linux. It's very, very similar. The bottom line in Linux is if you're running a Linux server, you know, uh, all you have to do is find your modules directory and do the same thing as what we're going to be doing here. So it's not all that different. It's it's actually very similar. So let's kind of take a look really quickly at what we do. Now, what you have to do if you are not already uh, a patron, you will have to, when you go to this uh, module down here and you click on it, you go to 3D Canvas and you click on download, it's going to take you, and I'm not going to download, I'm not going to click on that because I have my private Patreon connected. But the uh, it'll take you to Patreon, and you you can sign up for Patreon, and once you do, you will have the ability to then go in and directly download a zip file. Now, let me show you the zip file that I'm talking about. And let me bring it up here, make sure I'm in the right spot. Yes, here it is. All right, so, uh, and I'm, I kind of went back a little bit. So I just recently downloaded, actually today, uh, this version, which is of this recording is 5.2.3, but you can see I already had 5.1.3 uh, already installed here. And actually, you know what, let me delete this just so I'm, I can show you what I did. There we go. All right, so I got rid of it. So uh, what you do is once you've downloaded the zip file, and like I said, it's a little different. It's not, it's not an, uh, a module that you install through Foundry itself. It's not a module that you have a manifest URL for. So you have to actually download the zip file and install it the way that I'm showing you here. So now that I have the zip file, I'm just going to use, and I'm using Windows 11 here, so, but you can do this however, whatever, with whatever Windows version you have, it's, it should be pretty similar. So I'm just going to extract it and I'll, I'll let this kind of go ahead and run. Now, once it extracts, it's going to extract the directory I just deleted. So it's basically a, a copy of the directory that I just deleted. And then you're left with just the directory right here. Okay, so now that we have the uh, folder here, we've got a uh, Levels 3D Preview 5.2.3, which is exactly what you want, all right? And I know it says Levels, but still it's the 3D Preview. Now, uh, what you do is go into this directory so that now you're inside one level below, and you'll see that there is this one folder that's in here, and that's really what you want to copy. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to right click on it. And again, I'm using Windows 10, I'm uh, sorry, Windows 11. So it might look a little bit different for you, but I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And now that I've got it copied, I'm going to go over and let me open this one up for you. I'm going to go to my Foundry folder. And I did that by right clicking on uh, my Foundry icon and going to user browse user data. So if you don't have that, if that's not something that I have heard from a couple of people that said they didn't have that option for whatever reason, which is kind of odd for me, I don't know why, but it, it for most people it does work. So the, the, and what I mean by that is the little icon that's in your, your toolbar, your taskbar, I should say, uh, most of us pin Foundry into that taskbar. And if you right click on it, it'll pop up with a little menu that says browse user data and browse application data. So the one that you're gonna wanna select is the user data. So uh, here, I'm just going to go into my data directory, and I'm going to find my modules directory. I'm going to go in there, and that's all I have to do. And now, again, it, it, well, I should say again, if you haven't watched my video on, on backing up, I make this point. Don't right-click on one of these and then select Paste, because then you're going to paste it into this directory. You don't want that. You want it to be it's a, a brand-new directory all on its own. So I always go over to this kind of dark area on the right, and I right-click, and I select Paste. And so it should just kind of copy it over really quick, and voila. Now we have Levels 3D Preview installed on the server as a module. Now, it's installed, but it is obviously not selected and, and turned on. Now, I, I'm doing this a, a little backwards in the sense that I'm showing you how to do this in Windows, but what I'm about to show you is actually on my Linux server. So because I, I not, I'm not going to do this in Windows, I'm not going to bring up my Foundry server in Windows right now, but let me just show you what I mean. I'm going to go over to, here's my Foundry server 
where I'm running this version of uh, the module already. So obviously it's installed already, but let me show you all I had to do to get this to get turned on. And that is to go into my game settings, manage modules. Now this may look a little different for you. I have this, you know, kind of profile uh, module that I use to keep track of my module profiles and I can turn things on and off by just switching profiles. Uh, the manage module profiles uh, module, uh, <laughs> manage module profiles module uh, is available uh, and it's free in Unfoundry, but that's kind of what all these green and you know red dots are all about. But you can ignore those. It, just pretend they're not there. But you'll notice if I scroll to the, to the top here, I've got 3D Canvas. I've got the 3D Canvas map making pack, which is another one of the modules. I've got the 3D Canvas token collection, which is another one of the modules. And I've got 3D portraits, which is another one of the modules. A couple of these are free. A couple of them are not. Uh, obviously, the 3D Canvas is not. And I believe the map making pack is not either. You need to get those uh, as a premium member from Ripper. So all you got to do is turn them on by clicking on them, scrolling down to the bottom, save your module settings, it'll reload, and boom. You now have a server that has 3D Canvas ready to go. Now, in the follow-up version, uh, follow-up uh, uh, sessions here that we're going to be doing in the follow-up videos, I'm going to be showing you how to create this do this module, or I'm sorry, this uh, uh, <laughs> module, this dungeon here, and I'm just calling it a dungeon because it kind of looks like one. And I'm going to show you how to make the stairs, the lights. I'm going to show you how to prefabricate uh, these lights so you can just copy them over and over again. I'm going to show you how to do all of this. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a wild ride, and it's so, so cool. This is, I, I mean, even if I just kind of jump in here, and there's my buddy Gendon. Hi, Gendon. Everybody knows Gendon from all my videos. And I can kind of move him around as a 3D guy. And let me kind of pan down a little bit here so you can kind of see this. And I'll rotate around just a hair. And now I can take Gendon up the stairs and it'll stop him from going too far. So it'll pop up with that little message, which is important. You don't want him to fall off the edge of the map. So I'm going to show you all about all of this stuff, including how to make these really cool, uh, whoop, went a little bit too far. These really cool lanterns. Let me zoom up a little bit that have light inside them, fire burning inside them. Uh, and you can see the glow from it. Even if you look at uh, Gendon when he's here, You'll see if I move him kind of up closer to these things, you'll see that the light actually does affect him as well. Uh, so it's this is some really cool stuff, guys. And for not having to utilize special software as a player to do this is just amazing. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I will remind you, if you have not already subscribed, please do. And please hit that like button if you like this video. I tried to keep it relatively short in in this one and uh, also don't forget to hit that bell to be notified because i've got literally three more videos already in the can that i'm just going to edit and put up relatively quickly and get them in place so you'll you'll be notified as soon as those are available okay thank you so much again for being here and as always when you're adventuring be careful be safe and be kind peace